from hundreds of vulnerabilities to almost zero, just by changing one line of code. And here's how we did it. A few months ago, Docker released DHIs or Docker hardened images, which promises to reduce containers attack surface by up to 95% and automatically patch critical and high severity vulnerabilities. Previously, if you want to secure your images, you'd have to manually do the hardening or use third party tools like Trivi to scan for vulnerabilities. But now it's amazing that Docker itself is shipping official hardened images that we can all use. Well, enterprises can use. I'll get back to that in a bit. So make sure you subscribe to BetterStack for more Docker-related videos. Now, what exactly are Docker-hardened images? According to Docker, they're ultra-minimal production-ready container images built from source for maximum security. And that is a big deal because we all know containers can easily get bloated with stuff you don't actually need. Shells, package managers, debugging tools, you name it all of which just add risk. And what Docker did here falls what's often called the distroless philosophy, which is a method for creating minimal container images that contain only your application and its essential runtime dependencies. Which again, according to Docker, can shrink your image's attack surface by up to 95%. Another thing that is interesting, these hardened images aren't just static snapshots. Docker says they're continuously rebuilt, tested and published, and they promise to patch critical and high severity vulnerabilities within seven days. And they're backed by an actual enterprise grade SLA. This is huge, especially for teams running production workloads, because staying on top of CVS manually is actually pretty difficult. So with all that said, how do we actually use this? Using DHIs or Docker hardened images is actually pretty simple. All you need to do is update this line in your Docker file, and that's pretty much it. However, there is a catch. Right now, these hardened images are only available as part of their enterprise offering. So it's not something you can just Docker pull and try for free. But don't worry, if you can't use Docker hardened images, there are still alternative ways to harden your images yourself. For example, there are distroless images that are being maintained by Google and setting them up is also pretty straightforward. And here you can tell the difference between the base image and the distroless. And also, if you want to scan images for vulnerabilities to see if these images are perfect for your project, there are tools out there that you can use, like Trivi. Still, it's pretty exciting to see Docker itself stepping up and offering something like this out of the box, instead of relying purely on community to harden images. And who knows, maybe one day we'll see a version that is open to everyone. So what do you think? Would you use something like this if it was available for everyone? Let me know in the comments below. And if you want more Docker-related videos, like this video, subscribe, and hit that bell button so you won't miss our next upload. Thank you for watching. My name is Bernard, and I will see you in the next one.